Hey there folks, welcome back to the channel today. Peter with BlackRock Business here for QuickBooks Point of Sale Troubleshooting. Uh, we're working our way through troubleshooting steps for when you have multiple QuickBooks Point of Sale workstations and your clients are not connecting to the server. So today, uh, the step we're gonna take is that Intuit has a QuickBooks Point of Sale connectivity troubleshooting tool. I just thought I'd throw out a video about it in my experience, my personal and professional experience, whenever I've used this tool, <laughs> if, if the client can't connect to the server, you pretty much go through the tool and it just kind of says, yep, can't connect. <laughs> and like, so if, if your workstation doesn't connect, then this tool pretty much goes along and then suddenly it just says, yeah, can't connect. It might try a couple things, but usually in my experience, it's not very, uh, it doesn't move mountains or anything. And it, it uh, in my experience, the steps before this in our little playlist here for troubleshooting the client are the ones that work. So we're gonna launch this, we're gonna try it out. On this particular computer that I am sitting at, I have stopped all database functions and I have my laptop, which is another computer on the network, and it is running point of sale. So we are going to test the connectivity tool to that. Uh, I'm gonna launch it here. Oh, by the way, the, the tool is down below and also down below in the description. You're gonna find a link over to our QuickBooks point of sale uh, Facebook group, which is an excellent group where you can throw out problems or questions and people such as myself or other community members will help answer them. And uh, we have a great community there, lots of excellent people. And so I encourage you to get over there and join up so we can have some more dialogue. If you're on YouTube, don't forget to hit subscribe so that you can get all the latest, greatest QuickBooks point of sale videos coming out all the time. All right, so you're gonna download the tool down below. There's a couple different versions depending on which uh, point of sale version you're on. So make sure you choose the right one. The point of sale on my other computer is 12.0. So I'm launching the tool now, and it's going to want my blessing. This application needs to run from QBPOS installation directory. Okay, there is number one. The first thing we're gonna wanna do is get into the directory where our point of sale is installed. So I'm gonna launch a file explorer I am going to the C drive, and we're gonna go to Program Files x86. We're gonna go to Intuit, and we're going to find the version that I'm talking about, which is 12.0. So here we have C, Program Files x86, Intuit, QuickBooks Point of Sale 12.0. And here you can see is where your actual EXE files for the point of sale are sitting. And I'm just going to move this right over here. It's gonna copy, yes, go ahead, please do it. Okay, now here we have it. QBPOS test connectivity 2013, which is gonna cover, cover versions 11, 2013 version, and 12.0 version. There's also an 18.0 version of this tool. So grab the appropriate one. I'm gonna hit yes, please launch. Okay, now here we are. We have the connection test. It says for version 11, I'm actually doing for version 12. So there you have it. Now, TCP IP is enabled, that's good. Firewall status, the exceptions are defined. We did that in one of our previous steps here, that's cool. Third party firewall status, that's this might give you a little view on whether you have some antivirus that's running another firewall that you didn't even know about on your computer. So here we want to ping the computers on the network. And this is gonna take just a little while here. All right, so available network resources. These are some of the other computers on my network. I know that the point of sale I wanna get to is on Critter. So that's there. And I'm not sure if it's going, trying to do more here because it's not actually letting me select and hit okay. All right, 
So that just kind of gets the list of computers on the network. I'm going to cancel out of there. Now I want to test a connection. And I want to connect to the following data. Okay, so I actually need to find the computer name and the company file name and see if I can connect to it. So there's a bit of manual work here. I'm going to grab my other station here. All right. Let's see. Okay, so I know that the computer I'm trying to hit is called Critter, and the data I'm trying to hit there is called the the company file in point of sale is called MSB Ooh Biz Mark. All right, so we're gonna try and connect, and I think this is gonna be successful just because. There's not, I'm not actually experiencing a problem right now with connecting there. <laughs> nice, could not connect to database. Let me double check here. Okay. Critter. That is, that's pretty funny. All right. And you know what? I'm going to be straight up honest with you. This is pretty much why I don't use this tool. I don't find it to be reliable. I don't see that it does anything besides give you a few um, statuses on what's going on on your computer. So if any of these came up red, that might help you to understand things you might need to accomplish to get it going. But in testing the connection to my other computer here, there's really no reason why it shouldn't connect. Uh, I'm not actually experiencing connection problems, but it, yet it can't connect. So, uh, more often than not, I've found this tool to be not a lot of help besides giving you these statuses, which are things you may already even know, or things that, that, you, that you know are fine. So, testing the connection, don't find it to be reliable. Uh, you can try and see if this tool gives you any any help, if it gives you a readout that maybe you didn't know about. Um, but yeah, I, I, I left it on purpose till one of the last steps here because I don't think it's a big, a big helper. But it's what Intuit put out, so I thought I'd probably have people tell me, Oh, why didn't you talk about the connection tool? Well, the connection tool just doesn't really help you very much. So there you have it. That's the quick video on the QuickBooks point of sale connection test. Use it at your leisure, uh, but use it warily because uh, I don't think it's all that it needs to be. All right, my name's Peter with BlackRock Business. Leave a comment below if you'd like, if you agree, if you disagree, we'll have a little dialogue and get over to our Facebook group there. All right, have yourself an excellent day. Bye-bye.